Hey, welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat, and this is your weekly encouragement. If your life is anything like mine, you have all these details each and every day that can bring you anxiety. And in today's passage, Matthew chapter 10, to be specific, Christ talks about the fact that God cares about all those little details. Not only does he say that the Father cares about those details, but three times he tells us not to be afraid. We're going to jump right in. Matthew chapter 10 says this. Therefore do not fear them, for there is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be made known. What I tell you in darkness, speak in the light, and what you hear whispered in your ear, proclaim upon the housetops. Do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. The first thing uh, Christ wants us to know is that man can't hurt us more than to kill us basically they don't have control over the heart and soul our spiritual portion so in lieu of that doing the thing that god has called us to do is safe for all uh, intents and purposes and we should only fear god himself are we doing the thing we've been called to do? Because he is the one who has the authority over eternal life and death. So to start off with, it sounds a little bit heavy. Fear God and don't fear man. And I know I just promised you we were going to talk about anxiety. That happens next, starting in verse 29, where he says this. Are not two sparrows sold for a cent? And yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. But the very hairs of your head are numbered. So do not fear. You are more valuable than many sparrows. You see, God cares about the tiniest little detail in our life. Not only does he say a sparrow worth less than a cent will fall to the ground and the father knows it. As you read that, don't think that that means God is going to protect every little aspect of your life because it does say a sparrow falls and the father sees it, meaning even that falls into his plan. But he goes on even beyond that and talks about the hairs on our head being counted. Now, he loves us so much more than the hairs on our head, of course, or the sparrows. But this just goes to show how all the little details in our life, the father actually concerns himself with. And I have a little bit of trivia that I find was interesting and it doesn't necessarily apply to me as you can tell the hairs on my head are beginning to leave. However, if you are blonde, you have approximately 140,000 strands of hair. If you're a brunette, about 105,000. If you are one of the chosen few that gets to be a redhead, you have about 90,000 hairs. If God has gone so far as to count all of those hairs, how much more does he care about the little details in our life that even our friends and family are uninterested in? So in verse 31, he says again, do not fear for you are more valuable than many sparrows. I want to say to you, as I'm reminding myself, how much more valuable we are to the father than the sparrows. Christ did not come to die for the sparrows. He came to die for me and he came to die for you. So next time you're in the car and you're trying to decide between Burger King and Wendy's, what to grab for lunch, if you will, don't forget that even those little details matter to the Father. Well, I hope this has been as encouraging to you as it has been to me. My desire for myself and for you is that we look at all of the decisions in our life and put them through the filter of the Word of God. Well, God bless and don't forget, be encouraged. <laughs>